we ate insects. What? I... Bangkok was probably one of my favorite cities during that trip simply because I met the most awesome people there It treated me very well and I felt very safe and secure and happy during that time that I was there So day one in Bangkok What was your first impression of Bangkok? Hatla! I couldn't wait to explore the city Bangkok from the beginning had a very unique feeling to it and everything seemed totally different And once I got out of the plane and passed the visa the journey had begun. <laughs> so, I went outside to a machine that gave me a piece of paper with a number on it. And it was actually the place I needed to go to to take my taxi to the hostel. Uh, where I needed to go? Uh, Lamour? 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 Hostel? What? The taxi driver didn't understand me, so I just called my hostel and he started talking to them. He was talking in Thai and he was like, Lama. He then almost dropped me off at the wrong hostel. <laughs> and then I got to Lama. Lama. I don't know. But once I arrived, I loved it immediately. I had to take on my shoes and then mother effing, I got the best bed ever. It's eight bunk beds, right, in one room. I got the one on the floor to the whole left with that window. It had that wit. Oh my god. I had a window. It was the best. So the receptionist took me upstairs, right? And I asked her, so are we going to stay the two of us for the night today? Because there was previously a dude sitting downstairs and now was upstairs with us. And there was a bottle of alcohol on the floor. So I assumed it's his bed upstairs just above mine. She was like, oh, only three people. So I was like, okay, so probably someone will come tonight. Whatever. It's not important. It's not important issue. So I was like, okay. He's going downstairs again. I'm gonna be alone in my room, right? Being super happy and super excited. I didn't know what to do. It was almost noon and I basically didn't know anything about the culture and I was super tired. And I started talking to myself because that's what I do when I'm alone and tired. Hold up, rewind. And I started talking to myself. That's what I do when I'm alone, right? You, you don't? Oh, oh, just me, okay. So while lying in bed and trying to read into the culture of Bangkok, I heard whispers. <laughs> and I got so super embarrassed by it because they were, there were apparently two people whispering to each other while I was talking to myself previously. You know, it was embarrassing. So I just stayed in my bed and slept for a little. And then I woke up at some point because I had to pee. And then I just slept some more. That was my first day in freaking Southeast Asia. Sleeping, being embarrassed, peeing a little. A scared little Jay, too shy to go outside. What the heck? Day two in Bangkok. I woke up at 9 or 11 p.m. the day before and I didn't sleep after waking up. So I had all the time in the entire world to look up everything about the culture, about what to do, about what to eat, about how to dress and everything like that, right? So I came up with a plan during the night. I was determined to do so. I was super happy. I was like, yes! I know the culture, I know where to eat, I know I'm gonna go to the temples today, everything is fine, everything is good. So I remember stumbling in the bathroom across this Indian looking dude who just was doing his uh, facial routine, beauty routine, I don't know, he had some cream on his face. <laughs> so I asked him, oh, you arrived yesterday, right? I asked him if he wanted to go eat breakfast because I knew that the hostel had free breakfast for us and he didn't get that until we got downstairs and he saw that there is food for us. <laughs> so he was okay with that. He told me he had two friends with him. We just started talking and it was so awesome. I was so happy. Two other people were sitting next to us. Apparently those were the two people whispering in the room, Michael and Dumai. I'm sorry, I'm a weirdo. <laughs> this was basically my first meal after the plane ride. He then told me he had to ask his other friends if I could join them, but he invited me to join them. But it was like a shopping day that they wanted to do, not the temples, and you take a guess if I joined them or not. Who the people are? I'm glad you asked. Let me introduce them to you. Oh, can we say for both? This is Jiva, the Indian from Malaysia. In my opinion, he's a really open-minded person with a really good heart. Look at him. <laughs> Although he never really shows it. During our trip, he was more of on the quiet side. I still enjoyed talking to him whenever I had the chance to. 
And this is Daiki. He's Japanese and an exchange student in Malaysia. Daiki <laughs> he is so funny. The way he speaks English. You have water? I have water. Oh, yeah, yeah. The way he is. Are you gonna throw up? Don't throw up. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It Thanks. is so funny. And he is such a nice person. I, I cannot even describe how nice he is. This is Joanne, the Chinese from Malaysia. That girl, she taught me how awesome it is to use Instagram and Instagram stories. You should like go back and listen. Oh my god! She is so tiny but so positive and awesome and <laughs> open to people. I liked her from the beginning. Thank you, Joanne. No problem. Yeah. She is the one that would talk to anybody. I love that. I love the way she was speaking English because she's from Malaysia. Right? Yeah, the joysticks. I love her hair and her eyebrows were on point. I'm still looking at the wall. I'm so fed up. She is such an awesome human being. I was so happy I could meet her. Why do you know so much? Because it's Chinese. It's crazy. She knows so much. If you take the four of us together, we're a bunch of colorful dudes and the deans. But I met them upstairs and I had a great time with them. We went to Terminal 21 first for a shopping day. It was this huge shopping mall with such a cool concept, actually. I don't have much footage of it, but it's basically cities that you're entering. Every time you go up or down on the floor, you enter another part of the world. For example, there was Paris and you had um, French restaurants, French clothing lines, French everything. And then you went upstairs and there was just Japanese alley with Japanese restaurants, Japanese clothing, Japanese everything. And then you went somewhere else and it was all those cities. Pretty cool concept. We wanted to buy things. We ended up buying nothing but water. But we ended up wanting to see more because things in Thailand are cheap to buy. So we decided to go to Khao San Road. Nice. Let's go. Yeah. But yo, we were so stupid la. We didn't go there by night but in the day. So it was basically empty of people. Not empty, but from what we've heard about that road, it's filled with people, which wasn't the case. Mostly locals selling their ish, some restaurants, but the road is basically something you experience one time and that's enough. <laughs> at least that's what others told us. But they went at night, we didn't. We went there to go shopping and we didn't buy anything. It took the driver wanted to scam us, but we didn't give in. What you gonna do about they took the driver. So we decided to take another taxi to Pratana Market. And boy, let me tell you, it was crazy. It was huge. Clothes and bags everywhere. Motorcycles driving through small alleys of the market where people were walking. Ladies driving their cars around to sell drinks to people. So many people. Oh my god, so many different passages that you go into. And then at some point we started to see food and whatnot. And then we saw insects. <laughs> ah, hala. Why do you watch that? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, why? You know, it's not about the money. <laughs> Just try. Because my religion says you cannot eat insects. <laughs> <laughs> so you just want one, is it? No. No, a bag. A bag. Hello? 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 No, 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 no. Uh, 50 baht. 50 baht. Mm. Are you what? Uh, okay, okay, okay. okay, okay, okay. Care? <laughs> I think I'd rather sit for an exam than to eat this. <laughs> Basically, like, Jiva wasn't about that life at all. Okay, hey, good. Yeah. Are you sure you're gonna eat this first, then have <laughs> it? Daik was actually really into it. He wouldn't just admit it. <laughs> He was actually the first one to try it. <laughs> okay. Okay, let me get the water ready. Why is it slowly? Okay, hold, hold, hold. I will eat the food. Oh, it's tasty, huh? Good, right? Well, that was disappointing. Do you like it? No. <laughs> I do believe that he's lying. <laughs> no, but I can eat, but... Okay. Joanne struggled just a little. It's not a worm, it's not a worm, it's not a worm. Don't see that! <laughs> it's a worm. Don't you want to try? I want to try. <clears throat> okay, it oh. tastes like... Instead of the chenego, the What's the first thing? What do you eat? The grasshopper. Oh, okay. 
it no, it's, it's like it tastes nice, yeah? It's a little salty. Uh, it, but it is tasty. Very disappointing. We can eat. <laughs> no, you can eat. It's okay. Did you try the, did you try the black one? Uh, no. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, same <sighs> You get the point. The whole experience was pretty uncathartic for all of us. In my teeth, like. Yes, their feet got stuck in my teeth. Take yeah. the grass over. It's huge. Yeah, everything is same. Oh, it's fine. It's not that bad, really. After this highlight of the day, it's fine. We went out for a crucial food because we were hungry. We went to a food court. Never experienced such a huge food court. I had vegetable tom yum for the first time. Oh my god, it was good. It was delicious. Daiki then headed over to a concert of a Japanese band. When he arrived, he still had those stupid insects in his arm and he didn't know anyone there. So he was there alone, sitting between all those Japanese people, eating those insects because he didn't know what to do with them. Being judged by all these other Japanese people because they were looking at him like, damn, he a crazy person. But he said the concert was really, really good. While he was at the concert, dealing with this top ish, we decided we would go for a massage. Why not? So we tried out three places to go to, but they were all closed or full or almost closing. Let's go. So cool. Joanne got to eat something very, very delicious that I couldn't eat because it was with gluten. After getting rejected by all those massage places, Daiki joined us and we had hot pot basically around the corner of our hostel on the street. It was a seafood hot pot. It's basically hot water boiling and boiling and boiling and at some point you had vegetables and mushrooms and whatnot. Oh. And then she mixed an egg with the seafood and put some of it into the pot as well. It was so delicious. We had an awesome day, but at some point we we're like, we need to sleep. We need to go back to our room to get enough sleep for the next day because we had huge plans. Luckily, I realized what an idiot I've been previously because I didn't realize that I can use sockets in Thailand. Oh, and obviously, check out what I bought in Pratana Market. Bobeom! And that was basically the awesome second day. Hi, this is the ending of the video. I hope you enjoyed watching my first days in Bangkok. Oh my god, please join in next time when I talk about... He then told us he'll guide us to an awesome place where they make awesome boat tours. I think... I think... I think yeah. Yeah. <laughs> if you just look at it, the most fucked up things on a dirty street, as long as we all fit in, we ain't having a problem. <laughs> I can't wait to see you. See you next time. Bujanki!